All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another review by Projects. I'm Psycho again with you today, and in this one, we are going to be covering one of my favorite games that was actually released in the past couple of years, um, Cuphead. It's as you might know, I am a kind of how do we call it a masochist for games. I do like difficult games. I like games that provide you with a challenge and that are actually well, where you don't have a difficulty level that are generally hard. Um, but still manageable. It's not like they are impossible, but you do you are provided with a decent or a very hard challenge. And Cuphead is one of the games that can prove that and do that um, the most. Cuphead itself is a classical run and gun shooter video game developed and published by um, by studio MDHR, I think. Yeah, it was MDHR, um, and pretty much follows the, well, Cuphead, the guy in the, um, in the poster. Um, in a deal with the devil after losing a game at his casino, he is quested to pretty much repossess the souls of runaway debtors as payment for his loss. Um, in the game, up to two players can play it actually. Um, you control Cuphead and his brother Mugman to go through several levels and boss fights and it pretty much does not have um, a rigid narrative structure and as the game progresses the you as the protagonist pretty much acquire more powers and abilities um, eventually um, being able to threaten the devil himself however you can only equip um, a limited amount of those at a time <clears throat> which gives another kind of layer to the difficulty itself um, <clears throat> let's just go on to the pretty much gameplay and the graphics. Um, as you can see, <clears throat> the game was made in kind of a, how is it called, Golden Age American um, animation style, um, which is amazing actually. It's one of the games that visually looks beautiful. It is a game that is hard, and but even as as you're dying in it and pretty much struggling with a boss and everything, you are enjoying the visuals of the game and how well and smooth it is made. It was actually <clears throat> it was planned to be made as a simple game with um, how should we call it? With beautiful graphics, they aren't too complex to pretty much um, run on a computer, but they look gorgeous. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, even if you're dying due to the difficulty and everything, you can still enjoy the game and just observe it visually and enjoy it as a cartoon. Um, I do remember that in this year, I think, Cuphead was also released as a series due to its popularity and its... Um, and its playability throughout the gamer fan base. Um, it was, it got kind of a renown as a running gun platformer, um, as a Dark Souls running gun platformer. We'll go with that. It is super difficult from time to time. Some of the bosses are considered one of the hardest in the history of gaming. So pretty much, it's, it does have the difficulty that it needs, but it is never unfair. Um, it's pretty much up to you if you, I mean, if, if you die, it's almost always your fault. Just because you weren't, um, I don't know, patient, you weren't looking at the screen enough, um, and, or it was just a moment of non-concentration that pretty much got you. But it is still fair enough to kind of get through it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna recommend this game to all of you guys who enjoy hard games, who enjoy platformers, run and gun shooters, um, stuff like that, or just enjoy a good animation with a bit of struggle to get through, but it is always manageable. So, um, that's gonna be all from my side for this one. In the meantime, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment on the videos, and join me in the next one.